So now we're going to add some polish to our game. Right now it's pretty dull. Uh, we've got the, we've got most of the game working. I mean, for the most part, most part of the skeleton's done for the gameplay, but it's just really dull. Looks good. It's just dull. So we're going to use an asset called feel. Now feel is a paid asset on the unity asset store, but it is so worth the money because you can add a lot of polish to a game really easily using it. And I'll show you how. Uh, I'm going to create an empty game object and call it feedbacks manager and create a script for the feedbacks manager. So like what field uses is what it calls feedbacks. So you can just have a few different feedbacks and uh, just call these feedbacks whenever an event happens and you can control everything you want to happen whenever that feedback is called. Um, I'll show you. Let's see. First, let's add the feedbacks manager before we forget. Let's go into feedbacks manager and it's like, what, what are some events that we want to, um, like, let, let's just think, what are some events like we every time we pass the ball we want an event to happen so let's do a first let's make this a singleton all right but what are some events we want to take place uh we want we want to do something every time we pass the ball so public mm feedbacks mm feedbacks pass ball let's do one every time we gain possession let's do one for every time we shoot the ball let's do one every time a goal is scored So now let's save this and let's go back into unity. Do, 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 do. There we go. We're going to create four empty game objects, one for each uh, feedbacks instance that we want. And so we've got that set up and this is where we add the feedbacks we want. So we can do like audio, we can mess with the camera. Uh, you, you can do so much. It's like it doesn't even have to be stuff to polish the game. Like you can use this to build a game. But we'll mainly use the post process. I'm not going to do that yet though. We are going to set it up in the code. So gain, let's start with pass ball, passing. Add force, and then we will say feedbacks manager dot instance dot pass ball dot play feedbacks. We need to do that down here as well. All right, so we've got the pass one done. Um, you need to do the gain possession. And that just needs to go here and we'll say gain possession, play feedbacks. All right. And then we've got the shoot ball.
can go here. Shoot ball at play feedbacks. And on goal scored. And that's it. So now we can just come over here into the editor and we can pick and choose what we want to happen whenever these events happen. We should have it set up. So let's start with game possession. So we just add a feedback. Let's do a post process um, lens distortion. So every time that we gain possession, the lens should distort a little bit. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to assign them in the feedbacks manager. Pass ball, shoot ball, goal scored, game possession. Really hard to see if it's working or not. Crank it way up and see if it works. Uh, I know why it's not working. So it's not done yet, actually. We need to come to the camera. Now the post-processing volume. I mean, and we need to add Lens distortion URP. Go ahead and add in the bloom. So you gotta add for each each uh, feedback you want to give. Like if I want to add bloom, you need to make sure you've got this bloom shaker uh, wherever the post process post processing volume is. Uh, also want to do a lens distortion shaker. Um, I think that's it for now. Oh, let's see. Oh, it's because, dang, I just keep forgetting stuff. I need to add it up here also. Lens distortion and bloom. There we go. And there we go. Lens distortion's working. Every time we gain possession, it's a little bit much. Let's turn it down a little bit. And let's do that every time we pass the ball. And now we just we just tinker with it we just play around with what we want and let's see so i'm going to fast forward through this part and just show the end result all right here's what we got after a little bit of polish
And that's it. There's still so much more we could do, like add particle effects and um, just possibilities really are endless with this with this tool. If you found this video useful, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe as that really does help me with YouTube's algorithm.